talking to good mythical more, but there's more. But what's the best word for? But you're gonna find out. But first, we're going in this to video. Check in this very video, our voicemail. Rex, I was sent from the future to let you know that Link is a cyborg. Cyborg. <laughs> he was sent to destroy you. Don't don't panic. All right, just act natural. And now that you know, brace yourself. Okay. Cyborg. <laughs> I don't think he knew that I would also be hearing the voicemail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know what he's talking about. Right. You but know, you, he didn't even know how to say cyborg. I love without practicing. How he cracked himself up with a cyborg. I mean cyborg. <laughs> Are you a cyborg? I, I'm. I'm. I'm not a cyborg. No. Never. Never. I. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what a cyborg is. Uh, yeah. I know what a sideboard is. It, What's your favorite word for butt? Favorite word for butt. Um, hmm. First of all, let's 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 give a little love to Lakeith Stanfield. Him coming through. Um, we're huge fans of Lakeith, and uh, that was weird. That was a weird episode. Yeah, it was. And he was he was uh, he was very gay. Well, well, we knew that we were going to have Lakeith on the show. That was the question. It was how do we get weird? Because that's the thing I love about his approach to life and acting. Right. Is like he said, embracing life embracing weird. Life is about being. In, in, life is weird. Hands are weird. Butts are weird. Um, well, thanks for bringing that Atlanta back around. Atlanta is a great freaking show. It is. I can't. I can't. I can't wait to uh, to watch it. But, but my favorite. Uh, growing up, well, now you want you want now or growing up? Well, that's a good point. So, like, what did your mom? What was like the slang that your mom used for butt? Fanny. I guess. What was sorry? Fanny. Okay, so which that's is a be really bad word in the UK, in yeah. England. It's not a, I don't think it's, it's not a bad, bad word. word. It just it's referring to the vagina. Yeah, yeah. I think it's slang. Specifically, I didn't mean I to do this when I was saying it, but I did. Also, the great grandmother I was named after. Uh, was named Fanny, which uh, ironically is appropriate, I guess. Well, he had a, well I didn't know that. Yeah. My Nana's name is Fanny. Fanny Nell. Hey, are we related? <laughs> yeah, that's how first names work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you share a Fanny, then you're related. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I, uh, yeah. I mean, in the way, in the... Mm -hmm. In a certain way. Uh, did you, so what did you say growing up, Stevie? Well, Link didn't answer, did he? Uh, oh, no, you, I you didn't. Thank you. you. You said Fanny as well, right? No, I didn't. Um, my mom would say, I think we would say Heine. Heine. There's a lot of Heine going on. Huh. A lot of Heine. I like the choice of Heine, but I feel like it takes ex extra effort to use Heine. It doesn't feel natural H to me. Is, H is hard to say. Heine. 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 Um, really we did uh, Tushy. Tushy? Tushy? I think Tushy, yeah. Not Tush. Not Tush. And also, do you know, is this, I don't know if this is a Yiddish, like Jewish thing, Potch? Never heard that. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's it like be. to spank, but usually like. Potch? Spank, like not super hard spank, like more of like a tap. Just a little a potch. potch. Just to let, let you know I'm behind potch. you. Potch, yeah. Now, when, when we started having babies, I don't know, we, you know, in the conservative circles that we were procreating in, uh, we would refer to the baby's butt as a bottom. Bottom. I'm gonna, I never I'm, I'm gonna spank your bottom. So with like Lily as like a young, as she was like a toddler, we referred to her butt as a bottom. Because, wait, sorry, you prefaced this, you said in the conservative, so you dropped Heine, you were like, Heine, poof, too risque, I yeah. need to go from Heine to bottom. That was too Harnett Which County. is the name of your memoir. When I was in memoir. Wake County, it was more, <laughs> yeah, it was more bottom. I. I moved to butt. I was in part of the same circle, but I don't think I ever used the term bottom. Yeah. Um, I okay, like well, bottom. I have a bunch of slang words for butt, and today we are going to definitively decide which one is the absolute okay. best. Uh, starting with one I have never personally used, cake. Cake, that's yeah, yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we have some surprised crew back here. Because apparently I present as someone who's used the word cake often. I, th I think that's more in like a, I'm looking. I want to take a bite out of that cake. You know what I'm cake. saying? Cake. 
I think it, I think it's a compliment. It's like, look at that cake. Might be some icing on it if you don't watch out. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> Give me a slice of that cake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I think it just made it sound sound different. Some put some icing on the cake. Sounds good to me, man. I don't think you don't you don't know what I'm saying. I don't. Yeah. I said there might be some icing on it if you don't watch out, because it's a booty where Dookie comes out. Oh, chocolate icing. Chocolate icing. I was picturing a vanilla icing. Well, you well. know, there's all kinds of icings that we could be talking about. <laughs> like, um. <clears throat> we don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know what I meant. Okay. But look at that cake. I'm more of a pie guy, you know what I'm saying? That's a little further forward. Oh. No, I just like, I'm saying that I like pie over cake. Well, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here's also a pudding thing. man. Here's the thing that's good about cake. Okay, is... <laughs> You can, th there's like a, you can use it in other um, contexts. So you can always have a double meaning. You can't really do that with like yeah. the Hiney. next one, booty. Oh, actually, I guess, yeah, pirate's booty. Right. There's, yeah, there's other contexts. Did you bring the cake? Right. Yeah. You could ask that. Yeah, again. yeah, 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 yeah. Multiple things. Munching on a pirate's booty. No, munching on pirate's booty. Yeah. Different thing. Did you bring your special cake? Uh... Booty is the next one. Booty's booty is a good one. Booty Bo is good. Booty, bootylicious. It feels a little late 90s to me for some reason. Booty. Yeah, you, you gotta be in a playful mood to say that. Booty. But you can like emphasize it like that. Booty. Booty, 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 booty. You can say it a lot. And but not what is up. a booty if you think about it? You know, is it really just the top of the legs? What is a booty? And how does one go about shaking it? Shaking it. Yeah, this is, that's a song. Um, well, it kind of also has like a bounty situation going bountiful on. Bountiful booty. Yeah, like it makes it makes sense. I in, was, it, well, if you have a, a big booty. I was thinking about booties um, the other day because um, you know I've, I've been looking at tattoos on Instagram, and sometimes when you look at a bunch of tattoos on Instagram for like tattoo ideas, yeah, you start seeing like more skin. And then I think Instagram starts thinking that I, I'm looking not at tattoos, but at like skin. And so it starts showing me like cleavage. And then it starts showing me like booties. And I remember looking at this booty and thinking like, wow, what, what is a booty? It's, it's like, is there it the no top of the there leg? There were no tattoos on the booty? It, there were, there were. You went straight to booty? No, it took a while, but I mean, I got there and they were like, <laughs> It were covered in workout pants. Like, um, what are they called? Uh, what? what are workout pants called? So at that point, there's no skin at all. Huh? Now you're on Leggings. covered booty. That's right, Twinkie. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at. I looked at. Well, I I happened to see. I mean, it was served up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the algorithm told me to look at. Yeah, I follow a number of those accounts just to know how to do the stretches properly. I don't, I don't follow the accounts. This is on like. No, I mean I don't follow them. Not with my with, with my regular account. <laughs> oh, but I, but what I concluded what if I was that. I want to make sure I got the right form. You know, if you want to get your knee to your ear, it a booty is like leg slack that lets you get your lets you squat, lets you get your knee to your ear. You know what I'm saying? No. That's what a booty is. It's it's extra leg for squatting. But to get your knee to your ear? Well, I'm just I'm just I'm just making a I mean just making a statement like here right right here. I'm just making a like, statement. Like I don't you I got black jeans on and I don't have a booty either. So but like this is my booty. <laughs> but where are the how are you going to get your knee to your ear? <laughs> And what's gonna happen to your booty when that happens? Right, my booty becomes my leg. Let me take my phone out of my pocket. My booty, like this right here, this, uh -huh. like that. It's just th the top of the thing. leg, yeah, yeah. This thing right here, see, you can see the shape of it. Right. Now, that is my booty. And when I put my knee to my ear, it becomes my leg. There's no booty anymore. Right, right, right. Like, There's no crease. That? See that? There's no crease is what you're saying. Right, there's no more booty, it's just leg. Right. 
Because there's a thing you can do. You know, I mean, I haven't seen this on Instagram or anything, but if you've got the right pants on, you can do this little thing. And you want to maybe put this, pick that up. What, did I, I miss sit you, Rhett? <laughs> Hold on, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? Don't cover it, show it. Has that been on my booty the whole day? I knew you were glad for Lakeith to come in. I got some icing. <laughs> what is that? What is it? You want me to smell it? Pull it off. Well, it, can't, it, it, it fell off. Oh, it fell off? It fell off, it was like. No it's, no, it's right there. Is it a stain or a sticker? I think it was a garden pee. What I was getting at was, you can do a little thing. Oh, what? what is that? You can't see it, but there's like, it's brown stuff, man. I sat in something. You sat in something. Oh, it's right there. It's on the, it's on the seat. It's okay, man. Look, yeah, it's wet, man. <laughs> Hold on, did some of Chase's stuff splatter on me? It might have. It's a condiment. Anyway. Anyway, what were you saying? Sorry. I was talking about putting a crease on the bottom of your booty to define where your booty is. How, what do you mean? There's a thing that you can do with like, you pull, you, you like pull on the side and you, sh and there's, there's my booty. That's not my leg anymore. What <laughs> on earth? What? Okay. There's just certain parts of Instagram where you okay, can Okay, let's move on that. to the next one. I don't one. know what you're talking about, but uh, I'm honk. saying there's a crease what on the bottom. There's a crease on the bottom of your butt that doesn't always show up, but there's a little thing you can do with like your putting your hands on your hips that makes the crease show up. Oh. So it's like that's where the booty starts. Uh behonkus. My mom would say that sometimes. That is not on my list. Um But donk a donk? But donk donk, yes. Badonkadonk's on my list. Bahonkus? Behonkus. Badonkadonk feels a little too cute. Are we talking about like the the thing that's most fun to say? Because Badonkadonk is very fun to say. But what's the most functional thing to say on a regular basis if you had to refer to a lot of butts really fast? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Give us some one syllable ones. And I do want to remind you that if you want your copy of Blood Oath, Brett and Link versus the Global Lovemaking Crisis, mm -hmm. Our original comic book exclusive to the Mythical Society. It's only available uh, to third degree quarterly or annual members. Well, monthly if you've already joined, but you got to join third degree quarterly or annual by March 31st. You only got one week if you haven't done that already to get this. And speaking uh, of Badonkadonk. Issue number one. This is a, this Speaking is awesome. of Badonkadonk, and every time uh, Rhett and Link, that's us, turn into that thing that's on the cover, uh, one of us is the Badonkadonk of it. Okay. And here's Stevie wearing a morph suit. Mm -hmm. Right over yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. Any, wearing, any comments, wearing a cat Stevie? suit. Black leather. Uh, it looks like a latex to me, but it's an illustration, so. It's a, you didn't, okay, so there was no like wardrobe, there's no fitting for that. Okay. Anyway. I don't see any of our butts in this though. Like if that's what you're after, like our butts are never really shown. Yours or ours, Stevie. I wasn't after anything. I didn't say you were after something. What were you after? I said you Stevie? were. That was the implication. <laughs> I don't have any um, single syllable. Single syllable? What about ASS though? Options. ASS. <laughs> you know how that spells? Yeah. Yeah, it's on my list. I have dumper slash dump dumper. truck. No butts. I have a jacket that covers my butt in a, in a number of these. Uh huh. That's pretty close to a butt. You have a suit jacket that covers your butt, Stevie. Do we give them a yeah. no butt? Do we give them no butt guidance to illustrate this thing? Well, uh, maybe issue two will be more butt centric. More butts. That's the this one. one was, this one's very wiener centric. Well, you got to center on something. Dump truck, dumper. Ah, just it focuses on. Dumps like a truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is even a fart box. No, no, no. Who, who, no. You don't want anything that draws hoody attention hoody to the function, hoody the hoody actual function of the butt. Hoody to the fart box. Because that's the great irony of the derriere, uh, to use a different word. That's the great irony of the derriere is that, I mean, so many of us are attracted to it. Uh, but yet when you really think about what's happening there most of the time. It, it's got a stink spot. Yeah, <laughs> more than a spot. More than a spot. 
But then I, that's what makes it's what makes humans so strange: our hands, <laughs> our feet, yeah, and our derrieres. Keister. Keister. That's hot. Keister. I, uh, not for me. <laughs> Keister Solomon. Bring that keister over here. <laughs> Did you bring your special keister? Moneymaker. I mean, it depends. Okay. Shake your moneymaker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, poop shoot. That's just, it's bringing it back around. Yeah, right, yeah. Tukis. Okay, there's a, there's like a Yiddishy tukis. situation. Tushy, tukis, potch it. Potch that tukis. Potch that tukis. I don't think that's a sexy thing, though. I say tukis occasionally. Uh... Um. Fanny, here we are, back, back bringing Fanny. it all back around. Yeah. Oh, really? I, I, I'm not, I, even though that was my. Is that it? Do you have any other? Tiny, no, caboose. It. Caboose. Oh, here's a one, a uh, rump. You don't want a rump, rump, rump. What? what? Tail. Um, yeah. We Ors, say, we would arse, say tail. arse, and tushy. Tail. Arse. arse. And ASS. What about, ASS and arse. what about sugar loaves? Never heard of that what one. What about, um, Mmm. Gently rolling hills in my pants. Pants hills. What about um what are those things called like if you got a little bump on like a golf course? What's that called? A little bump? A little a little bump of grass on a, a golf mound? course. Almond Joy's got almonds, mounds don't. G great. I'm trying to see if there's a Oh. I'm just saying. Uh, Trevor has specifically slacked me. <laughs> he would like to add juicer. Okay. To the list. Okay, that is accepted. We accept juicer. I don't. I've never heard juicer. I like that. HR has slacked me. <laughs> <laughs> unrelated though. Unrelated. I juicer. actually think that but is maybe the be is maybe the best word because. It's by saying, it's, first of all, it's very easy to say. It's very short. Let's see if you got to refer to a lot of butts all at once, you know. And it's a little bit dirty. Like it's, it was considered a curse word when we were kids and you couldn't say it in class. But. So it feels a little informal, which for something where that happens, it feels like there should be a little bit of informality. But's the best word for but, in my mind. I feel like that's kind of a letdown. I think we need to make something up. Yeah, but if you if you say bring your butt over here and you're mad, right? And then you say like you got a nice butt. Like what about both of those are understood? Yeah. What about the I'm twins? I'm not saying I disagree. The twins. The queens. The oh. twins. Well, not everybody has symmetrical booty. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's more just like siblings. <laughs> you know, uh, my my booty is fraternal. <laughs> what about permanent seat cushions? That's not bad. Cushion. 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 More cushion for the pushing. More cushion for the pushing. Bring your fraternal cushions over here. <laughs> Only one week left to join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual to get Mythical's first ever comic book. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.